Arctic whales live in a world of sound and utilize rhythm and repetition in a number of ways across body percussions and vocalizations. The discovery of a repetitive tonal signal in Colombia in 2017 is not easily categorized into song or social call, yet displays a high degree of rhythmic fidelity. Little is known about the temporal patterning in humpback vocalizations. We take a musicological approach whereby we theorize how rhythmic characteristics may aid mysticetes in feeding, communicating, and mating pursuits based on insights drawn from our own rhythmic and musical behavior. Rhythm can be described as the perception and production of patterns of duration over time and is regarded as the primary building block of musical structure. For humans, our perception of rhythm is determined by the time between events, the inter-onset interval, rather than the duration of the event itself. The ratios of our rhythmic durations tend to be 1 to 1, 1 to 2, or 1 to 3, and our rhythmic groupings tend to be in the range of 2 to 5 seconds, as this is the range in which we perceive temporal events as organized rhythms. It is also the range of our auditory sensory memory. The time between events in rhythmic groupings tends to range from 100 milliseconds to 1.5 seconds. If the time between events is less than 100 milliseconds, we hear the sequence as a single continuous event. If the interval between events is greater than 1.5 seconds, we have difficulty grouping the sounds together. It is interesting to note that many activities, such as suckling in newborn infants, rocking, walking, and heartbeat rate, occur with periods of approximately 500 milliseconds to one second. We then inquire as to the durational bandwidth of humpback whale vocalizations the ratio of its rhythms, the pace and complexity of its patterns, and the relationship of its tempo to its body proportions. This apples-to-apples -apples approach allows us to examine the role of rhythm in both human and humpback species and theorize of a possible universal rhythmic function across taxa. To this end, the discovery of the unadorned repetitive tones is of great value in that they may provide insight into the fundamental morphology of the mysticeti as well as represent the basic building blocks of more complex vocalizations. As we reflect on commonalities, did our own music have such simple beginnings? Mm -hmm.